viewers and subscribers, and this is Super Chocolate Milkshake, and I am here with, well, a bit of a Mini Bites video, but really also just to let you know, there was a game jam of recent, and uh, I joined in. I have a game submitted to it. Um, this is also a game from that said jam too. I'm going to be supporting some of my fellow jammers. Also, I will have a link to the game and my game down in the description, okay? So be sure to check those ga games out. Support them, like them, rate them. Do whatever you have to, okay? I'm going to be uploading quite a few gameplay videos throughout this week because, well, it's probably one of the quickest things I could do on this channel. And honestly, it's probably one of the more efficient things I could do on this channel. And, well, of course, two of uh, YouTube's biggest gamers are kind of taking a break right now. So, I, well, okay. Okay, well, I will admit, 8-Bit Ryan isn't as big as he should be, but he should be a lot bigger. So, anyway, fair is fair. <clears throat> anyway, this is a little game that's called The Butler Did It. This game caught my attention, okay? I don't know how or why. Okay, maybe it's just because I love a mystery, okay? I mean, honestly, I really do love a good mystery. So anyway, how does this connect to theme? Spoilers. I'd rather not spoil the game. Let's just dive right in. I'm going in blind, buddy. There we go. Now it's working as it should. Oh, the mic is also working too. It better be. Whoa, hey, ho, I just murdered Mario Kart 7. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> anyway. Okay, hopefully I got this working. Detective. Hey, Commissioner. Okay, so I need to go. Okay, uh, enter. Mr. Detective, how are you? Fine, thank you. What have you got here? Murder, I'm told. I got the boys back at... The boys at the bureau were stumped. Um, I hope you can shed a little light. I'll see what I can do. Okay. The place where you respectfully wipe your feet, a red herring, and it's... Identification of a criminal, a piece of paper, a murder weapon... A pho photo evidence? A device? The device you're playing this game on? A way, this, a way of disposing evidence is the murder location, huh? Okay, next page. And then a reflection of the world, another murder weapon, the victim's message, a confession, and a storage of the murder weapon, huh? Interesting. Oh, look. It's a rug. Very ruggy. Well, you have a murder to solve. No more time for rugs. Uh, what? Rug found. Rug, 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 rug. Uh oh. Space. Oh. Yeah, sure. Ah, here we go. Look at this bad boy. Footprints. A pair of heavy footprints. They seem to have stepped in something blood red, like the like blood. Yeah, sure. Darn murder didn't have the courtesy to wipe their feet on a rug. I didn't mean to do that! Okay. This game is a little awkward to play. Okay, an ID card found at the scene of the crime, huh? It seems to be the butler's. And the photo, he's holding a knife. But everyone looks bad in their ID photo. I guess that's kinda true? Okay. Wait, did I lose control of the game? No, it stopped responding! <laughs> there we go. Okay, sketch L. Weird. Oh look, a computer. It's a computer. There's a chat log. Butler, I'm quitting. Lord of the Manor, why? Butler, because you're gonna fire me. Lord of the Manor, wait, what? Butler, because I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Lord of the Manor. Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? A painting hangs on the wall. It seems to depict the past butlers of this home. Jack the Ripper. The Zodiac Killer. Jeff. <laughs> oh, you gotta be wary of Jeff. <laughs> you gotta be definitely wary of Jeff. What's this? I know, it reads. Ha 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 ha. I am going to kill him. The butler. 
Why am I even playing this game? I mean, obviously the title is The Butler Did It. It's obvious who did it. It was the maid! <laughs> oh, look. Scene of the crime. Chalk outline. Stupid vandals. What? Oh, come on. Butler plus detective BFFs? What are you... What? Excuse me. The murder weapon. A bloody knife. There's something on the handle. Ah, oh, an engraving with the name. Manfred Pennysmith. The butler. The murdery one. Pennysmith. Seriously? Oh, you can use the arrow keys too. Okay, then. What's up with this guy? Cries? Why won't anyone is Ted? Cries. What? Why won't anyone is what? What seems to be the problem? The butler killed that man. That slander. You're going to jail for a long, long time, bucko. What? Okay. A garbage can. Looks like the kind of garbage can that really doesn't do much. Pretty much just put here to fill an empty, fill an empty corner, or something like that. Uh, what? what? What's going on here? A wooden block used to store cuddle or cutlery. Looks like the knives is out. There's some writing on the wall. It's the butler? Well, I can't believe it's not the butler. Wait. Did he say butler or butter? There's something right now. It's the... Butter. Butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Ha ha. Very funny. Oh, very funny. Very funny. I left my ho... I left my how to tell a good joke. What the fudge is that? <laughs> what is that? I'm a wishing frog. Wishing frog? Yes, I shall grant any wish in you desire. I wish to solve this mystery. Denied. I wish for a million dollars! <laughs> okay, that's a little weird. This game is a little weird. <laughs> very, very, very weird. Interesting, but weird. Very, very weird. The graphics are, well... Actually, I gotta admit, when it comes down to it, compared to the graphics that I did for my game, honestly, I think the graphics here look way better. <laughs> What's this? Murdered candles... Murdered by candlestick. Haven't got a clue. Oh, hardy har har har. Candlestick wasn't even one of the murder weapons, duh! Have you ever played Clue before? Seriously. I mean, one of the murder weapons in Clue was by far... Actually, I think one of my favorite murder weapons just happened to be the pipe, but I don't know. Honestly, I really wish it would have included Crowbar in the later one, but you know. And then they replaced Mrs. White with Mrs. Orchid, which is like, why did you do that? Mrs. White has been a staple of the game for many years now. It's like removing one of your most iconic characters. A fireplace. It doesn't seem connected to the murder. But the bags of burning evidence that you saw the butler put in here sure smell nice. Ay ay ay. Uh what the heck? It's like his playing around at the Wait, what the I wonder if it can play Case Attorney? <laughs> Very clever. Okay, butler. I have a butler to pick with you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Officer Detective. Do you know anything about the murder that took place here? Officer Detective? Sheesh, Luis. 
And I thought Detective Gun was kind of lame when I came up with her. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, I actually didn't really come up with the name, but, you know, details, details. <laughs> Why, of course I do. I did it. Ha 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 ha. Mental note. Locate all persons with the name I. What? Okay then. I need to go see the commissioner. Okay then, well, let's go see the commissioner. Obviously I got posted on Discord. Woohoo! So let's see. Okay, commissioner. It seems that you gathered all the evidence. Now to bring whoever it was to justice in court. Okay, well, let's see. Are we playing Are you security now? What's going on here? Justice is going on here. Well, I'm bringing the murder to justice. I'm just happy to be here. I've wasted enough time on this game. <laughs> I've d we all live in a simulation. <laughs> I want my game. <laughs> Why are you here, though? It's my job. It's my hobby. I want my game to do well in the jam. Yeah, I do want my game to do well in the jam. Thank you very much. <laughs> if I want people to judge my game, I got to detect the quality of others. Yes. Play my game! <laughs> Seriously, you will laugh your head off. Get out of my courtroom. What do you have to show? Some evidence, Lee evidence, stuff. Let's go for stuff! I got stuff, I guess. <laughs> I am the world's worst detective. Presented then. A jam knife. A poor innocent knife. This awesome knife. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. This awesome knife! <laughs> we have the knife found at the crime scene, which may appear to be totally badass. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Anything else? And I'll come a heartbreaking note, a mysterious note. Let's go for the incomprehensible one! <laughs> we have a note here which is written by such poor handwriting. Probably why, because it probably looks like the uh, hieroglyphics. Absolutely impossible for the author to plan a murder. Impeccable logic. Anything else? Uh, a notebook full of clues. A diary of my thoughts. Part of the dead tree. Tree with graphite. Uh, let's just go with a notebook full of clues. <laughs> right old piece of evidence is a notebook. Book. Chock full of observations. May I read it? Sure. Oh my goodness, this spells the murderer out clear as day. The candlestick, the butler's confession. And honestly, the text box is a little too small. Your honor, and I think I know who he is. Who should I murder? Who should I pick? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, or Bob? Let's go Bob. Why, without a shadow of a doubt, I know the identity of the murderer. Of course. Point to him, and it was just now that I found the final clue to prove that he was the murderer. Is get, get on with it. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. It's a cheap. I. It's a cheap knockoff of the corner theme from Ace Attorney, isn't it? Presentation of it, but fairly good recreation. <laughs> Think about it. Who's the one person we least expect to be the murderer? It's the butler. But I wasn't even there. And how did you know about all the facts? Because it's my job. Does being a judge make you a psychic? Because there's no way you knew of all that evidence without being there. What? No, you told me about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Absolute court by court. I never told you I was a detective. Yes, you did.
Take him away, boys. Uh, <laughs> the end. Justice served. Thank you for playing our game. We hoped you had some fun. See you all next year. <laughs> Zool Games. Sickle and Lucas, huh? <laughs> Zool Games team. Sickle and Lucas. Stickle and Lucas. Oh my gosh. Actually. Hey, Judge. Uh, uh, that's not over. Get out of here, Detective. Come on, tell me you don't like seeing me. You're right, I don't. You're the reason I'm here, in this stinking rotten jail. Yeah, about that. They say that you can That to catch a criminal, you gotta think like a criminal. So I figured you might be as good as anything to help me with this case. Fine, but I'm not a criminal. You see, we've had this mysterious serial killer on the loose. And I really don't know what to think of it. Well, have you... Well, what have you got? Well, it's the strangest thing. The, that butler, the one of the seeds of your cry, has been on every single seed of the crime from here on out. Sigh. Anyway, I'm thinking that the murder might be the bailiff. You're out of control. <laughs> Okay, okay, I gotta admit that that ending was actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> um, okay, so I see how it connects to the theme now. Uh, the theme of this game jam was out of control, okay? And honestly, when it comes down to it, I was actually trying to make a game that was completely and totally out of control. Um, the idea was, well, I'll get to it when I get to that. But anyway, for this, actually, I'd say it wasn't that bad. I don't know if it necessarily fits the theme gameplay wise per se it does fit the theme a little it does fit the theme story wise and character wise i will admit and graphics wise well nah it doesn't really fit the theme at all but you know what actually i gotta admit it was a pretty fun game and i laughed really hard at that courtyard court scene so you know actually i think that was really good so any improvements that i could anything that i could say to help improve the game well, first of all, there was a lot more to this game than I expected, actually. I was expecting something rather short, sweet, and simple, and honestly, kind of like how most other Game Jam games are, because, well, you know, you've only got, like, a certain amount of time to complete Game Jams, you know? Well, except for my jam, the Month of Scares jam, or I mean the Sh Scare Me Shakeless jam, which basically hereby means that, yeah, uh... <laughs> Okay, so basically the Scare Me Shakeless jam is basically the very, I, is kind of a bit of a relaxed jam. You can take your time with it. But for this jam, yeah, we had to do it in under uh, 42 hours, which was kind of insane, especially for me, since I was programming by scratch the whole time. This guy used Unity, or these people used Unity. And honestly, I think it was a good thing that they did a team, too, with this one, because, well... <laughs> I didn't do a team, and I almost lost my mind because of it. Actually, I did. I'll have a little more details about that explaining it a little bit later on. Anyway, I'm losing my focus. I need to get back on to focusing. So what can I suggest about improving the game? First of all, I think I would actually map the action key. Actually, I think I would match um, uh, the action key and the look at key, the book key, a little bit closer to each other. If, uh, you know, since you also had it mapped to the arrow keys as well, I would actually suggest if you wanted to do it properly, I think you could probably just use the arrow keys and then Z and X. That would work out rather well. Because, I mean, first of all, it worked out really well in Undertale. It can work out really well here. And, well, I mean, if you have controller support, which I don't know, do you? If you do, then uh, please let me know, okay? It may be a last-minute thing, but, you know. Anyway, so if you have controller support, though, I mean, I guess you could also do the exact same thing, too. I mean, and you know what? When it comes down to it, sometimes the simpler the better. If you just have it mapped to only two buttons, that is fine. Because, you know what? Sometimes some of the best games only require two buttons. I mean, seriously, no joke. So anyway... Yeah, other than that, I really don't have too many complaints about this one. I really liked it a lot. The, it was absolutely hilarious with how that ending ended out. Actually, it was kind of interesting, too, how the detective was falling in love with the butler. I'm not going to get into too much detail with that. Use your own frickin' imaginations. But, um, yeah, yeah, it was actually a fairly good game. I would actually recommend it. So, you know what? That's what I did. I have the link for this game down below in the description. Also, the link to my game is down below in the description, but also, please be sure to check out this game as well. And also, if you like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, 
and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. This is Super Chocolate Milkshake, signing off.